I like to give you the imagery that the heart is very fragile and transparent because when we are aligned in our heart, we manifest courage and we need to be more courageous. As delicate as the heart is thought to be, you know, weak, because that was or is how society feels about expressing emotions. Uh, in fact, our heart is our most resilient muscle. So uh, I have a spread here laid out for you. Uh, first of all, let us always protect our heart uh, as we move on on our journey, but never neglect each heartbeat. Okay. So um, let me explain my spread. It's basically uh, incorporates the conscious and unconscious motivations, patterns, creations, and manifestations. And um, this is going to be the star sign of Sagittarius. So wonderful Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, what I'm going to do is a little spread here for you oh we have um oh my gosh i forgot the name of these cards i'll have to put them down uh twin dragons i call them because that's what they are um, but uh, uh we definitely have heartfield miss uh, heartfield I, I know her name because i love her cards uh lisa i think that's um beautiful there. and then we have the universal love Okay, so we're going to do the spread with uh, the Twin Dragon cards. Um, these are were too big. I, I made them for myself, and they are just the best cards because they give me the most accurate information and love for you. All right, uh, thank you so much for the energy, for the likes, shares. Uh, comments too. I need uh, to you know, progress. So, um, Sagittarius, let's see what we have coming in for the month of December. This is your month. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. We slid from Scorpio into Sag. And you know what? <laughs> Without missing a heartbeat, because my gosh, a little Scorpio is a little too heavy. I mean, even though, you know, they're intense and lovely and sexy. But uh, we always need that fun sunshine that the, the Jupiter Sag has with them. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. Sag, Sag, Sag. Sag, Jeterius, December 2015. So I'm just going to... Sagittarius, December 2015. Sagittarius, December 2015. Sagittarius, 2015. Okay. Nice, the star. Oh gosh, you guys are wow, interesting. Nice. Oh ho ho. That's not like you, but it you know, you guys are do have Saturn. That makes sense because Saturn's in your in your uh, in there for Oh we this is awesome. Okay, so <sighs> let me take it in, take it in. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around for you. Let me just take it in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read it and then I'll turn it around for you, okay? And I'll, I'll pop each card. Hopefully you can see it too. Um, okay, so you have the star. This is, uh, you know, I, a very beautiful. Things are shining, but she's naked and vulnerable. So it's like self yourself, your emotions, your self-forgiveness here, self-love, uh, and, and because of your, the stars are shining on you, you know, so that's really great uh, destiny here, the Wheel of Fortune, things are moving along, you're happy, you know, with, with uh, the movement right now, it's, it's, it's a good flow, although um, 
there seems to be some kind of uh, discernment. There seems to be some kind of uh, watchful eye because um, you feel maybe like uh, taken advantage of at one point. And then we're going to have the X coming. We have an X coming here. We're going to have the X coming. And um, that's going to push you inward. You're, you're not going to be the normal self. And it makes sense because you have Saturn over your, your planet, uh, Sagittarius, and it's uh, the restrictive planet. And this this person's uh, slow moving anyway. That's a slow pace, you know. This might be someone else, actually, that you are try trying to be a slow pace with. It's what it seems like. It's what I'm getting. And uh, there are some partnerships in the in the future, um, for some good friendships or business partnerships and dealings. Uh, and then there's a, a feeling of gratitude, feeling of gratitude after that. Uh, and then you're, there is going to be a new journey, a new journey that's going to come and, and you're going to be embarking on. So all the past is going to be left behind you, which is beautiful. So let me uh, give you a little more of what you can see in your half here. All right, so uh, beginning with the star, you have a new uh, refreshing, you know, perspective here of, you know, fresh waters, your waters with their waters, mixing of emotions, of dealing with the emotions and being vulnerable. It's okay. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. You're happy to be moving along. Things are just going, uh, you know, this is destiny. Thing, it, uh, in, uh, from the heavens, things are going the way they should. Uh, un, un, but you feel a little um, uneasy about it and like unsure and, uh, you know, thinking a lot about the things that you might not have accomplished. You know, because fire signs are always accomplishing something. They're always doing something. And then here we have nostalgia, the past, some exes that you might be thinking of. Uh, they might be in your in your memories. You know, that's what's making you so vulnerable. I think is these memories. And um, so, what what we have here is the physical realm. So this is what's happening to you on, on the outside world, what people see. This is what you know to be true. So you know that your exes are holding you down right now, uh, coming back at you, but you're not doing anything about it. You're going to be going inward and thinking about it and moving slowly. You might be going back to the ex because you're facing this direction, but you're going to go slow about it. And your priority is stability at this time. And then... Um, your subconscious is basically you know, you're you're connect making connections. You are partnering up with people and doing things that you want to do. You know you want to be in a position where you can give. You know, that's your very giving, gregarious heart, the fire, Sagittarius, and you want to start a new journey on that. Um, you're alone here, so it doesn't look like you know very romantic in that respect. For, for a romance reading because the the, the end is um, you just going alone. But let's see what the conclusion is. What's the conclusion for Sagittarius this December 2000? What's the conclusion? 2015. 2015 for my beautiful Sagittarius. Okay. Oh, God, this is great. Uh, you got the Knight of Cups. There's, there's going to be an offer your way. So um, an emotional plea is coming towards you, just like the ex. It could be the ex doing that. And um, you're going to be pretty much just struggling to stay on top, you know, to, to make your point. To, you know, you're going to, it's going to be busy. seems like it's a fiery energy. I think there's double fire. 
Mars and Sag, and I think that's going to make it even more. You know, you make your point, you come across, you you have to for you know really go through, drive like the ox, push it, and it's going to make your dreams come true. Once you do that, once you push through, push through this um, this doubt, you know this. So that's going to make your dreams come true. It's going to it's going to really uh, be your wish card. Whatever you've been wishing for is going to come true. So let's do a quick um, universal love. Universal love. That's what <laughs> I think that's what Sagittarius is all about. Absolutely. Universal love. Absolutely. And Miss Hartfield. December. December Sagittarius. Happy birthday. Another year. You made it through. So proud of you. You guys are gonna really change the world. Just deal with what you gotta deal with and do it, right? Do it. Here we go. Demonstrate love. Oh my gosh, you guys are so loving. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. You know how to do this. Like you guys zone in on this so good. So thoughtful, Sagittarians. Awesome. It's gonna come back 1,000 fold. Ooh, my gingerbread. Earth connection. Oh my gosh, Earth connection. So I guess since we're in Virgo, get down to Earth. Be healthy. Think of your health. Um, really don't procrastinate, guys. Okay. Thank you so much. Namaste. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and holidays and Hanukkah and everything else of, of um, you know, that beautiful celebration time on your month. Thanks for watching.